who was gonna tell me that Bath & Body Works has shampoos? Why haven't you guys told me about this? Like... <laughs> Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have an exciting new Bath & Body Works haul. So Bath & Body Works just had their, I think it was $5.95 on all body care sale, which is a really good deal. Whenever I tell you guys to not get any sort of body care from there at full price this is what i mean like i ended up getting 10 things and spending only like 42 dollars when if i would buy these things on any normal day where they're full price i would have spent that just getting two products so i ended up saving a good amount of money plus i also use my coupons i had a 25 percent off coupon and then i also had a free body care item coupon so you can really shop smart at bath and body works if you wait around for these sales you could get things for dirt cheap i had no idea Idea, there was gonna be a sale and the day before I saw Leah I saw that she posted about all their new holiday body care which is now out which is crazy by the way like Christmas is just around the corner like what is happening this year is almost over and I heard her say that vanilla be Noel was good this year so I was like oh my god I need to go but then I'm like no because their body mints now are like $20 a piece like you gotta wait and literally the next day they were having their $5 body care sale so I was like it's meant to be I'm going and I ended up doing a little bit of damage. My total was $42.97 and I ended up saving $134. So that's a win if you ask me. So with all that being said, if you want to see everything that I got, then just keep watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn post notifications on. Let's get into the video. Right, so first things first, of course, I'm going to start off with Vanilla B. Noel because when I saw Leah's video and she said that this smells like the old Vanilla Bean Noel, like the days when it actually smelled good. That alone made me want to go to the store. And guys, I'm happy to report that I think she's back, or at least she's getting there. She's like 90% there of what I remember the original Vanilla Bean Noel. They've changed it so much. Last year's Vanilla Bean Noel was absolutely repulsive to me. Literally smelled so gross. I don't know what note came off, like it was literally like it had gone bad i'm not sure i know a lot of people said the same thing so i know it wasn't just my nose but this one smells really good to me it doesn't have that off-putting weird scent that it's had in the past couple years and it actually just smells like creamy warm delicious vanilla the nose for vanilla bean noel are fresh vanilla bean warm caramel sugar cookies whipped cream and snow-kissed musk. It smells like the holidays and that cozy holiday feeling without having any spice or anything related to that. Honestly, it's a unique vanilla. Like, although I have so many vanillas in my collection, I love this one. It doesn't smell smoky. It's not, like I said, spicy. It's literally just pure, rich, warm vanilla. And I actually find this pretty strong. I've been wearing it the past couple days since I got it and I love every minute of it. It's been my go-to little bedtime scent and in just two days, I already have the tiniest little dent in it. So honestly, I'm thinking I should have picked up two considering how good it is. Now I'm a little bit regretful, but I did wanna mention for those of you guys that missed out on this sale, they are gonna have another one other than the SAS obviously, but they do have another body care sale. I think it's right before the holidays. And I believe that one is actually a little bit cheaper than this one, like instead of 590 something. I think it might be like a dollar less and I may or may not end up picking another one of these. Because to me, although this is a holiday scent, technically, I would wear this all year round. Like it's just delicious. Speaking of vanilla B. Noel, I'm so glad that I actually got another vanilla B. Noel item. I picked up this Shimmer Fizz body lotion. I've never tried these products before. And this is the sale where you're gonna wanna get those big ticket items and stuff that never really goes on sale, which is like these, the body creams, the shimmer body creams that are in like the tub. I didn't really end up getting much moisturizers because to be honest, every time I get them in sales, I get so excited and then I end up never using them and then just decluttering them later on. Like I just use my go-to out of the shower moisturizers. So I didn't want to be wasteful. Just because it's a sale doesn't mean you have to get everything and I need to remind myself of that sometimes. So let's pump some of this out because I honestly don't even know like are you supposed to shake this? Okay, let's just see. Oh what it fizzes i mean i know it's a shimmer fizz whoa that's actually shimmery and it absorbed in like two seconds it doesn't feel lotiony or oily or anything 
wow a little bit of it got on my floor over there and i can hear it fizzing i did not realize it was gonna be like loud fizzing it's like pop rocks in lotion form now i just want to keep hearing it fizz <laughs> it sounds like i'm like cooking chicken i am very very intrigued <laughs> by this product i'm so glad that i picked this up i i didn't really know what to expect but i'm very glad i picked it up and of course, it smells like delicious vanilla bean oil. Oh, so you might be disappointed to know that that is actually the only thing I picked up from the like true holiday uh, scents that come out every year. I didn't pick up winter candy apple. I didn't pick up any other of the typical holiday scents that come out every year. Just because I either have them or I didn't care for them. But I am going to quickly talk about the brand new uh, scents in the holiday collection. Which is Golden Berry Mistletoe. It looked really good. And judging by the packaging and the color of it. For some reason it was giving me gourmand vibes. So I was excited to go and smell it. But then I read the notes. And then when I smelled it. I was just kind of disappointed to be completely honest. I didn't find it that great. I found it a bit generic. It was more honestly of a citrusy fresh with a hint of berry kind of scent and I know that there's no citrus in it. The notes are sparkling berries, sugared spruce, and frosted air. So there's actually no citrus but for some reason when I sprayed it out that's all I got with a little hint of berry and just kind of like this holiday spice type of smell. For me it was more of like a candle type smell rather than a scent that I would actually want to wear as a perfume but there's actually going to be another scent added to the holiday collection another new scent and this is called jolly gingerbread village when i went to my store it wasn't out yet so i actually ended up going back to the store a couple days later and this scent was finally out so for anyone interested in this you can go into your stores right now and it is available i love the packaging now where this scent is kind of getting a little bit of mixed reviews is that it kind of seems like it would be a gourmand it's called jolly gingerbread village so most people kind of assume this would be a gourmand cakey gingerbread kind of scent and it's actually more perfumey than you would think this has notes of golden gingerbread vanilla icicles and yuletide timber whatever that means my thoughts on this i know most people are hating on this i think it's amazing and i know leah in her video mentioned that this smells a lot like the brand new jo malone ginger biscuit perfume which is pretty interesting especially considering this is a fraction of the cost it's just kind of like a slight spicy sort of gingerbread type scent it's not gourmand think of it being more so a perfumey scent it does have this airy vanilla vibe about it it almost gives me commodity milk but the personal version which i received recently in pr and i'm loving it and this kind of gives me a vibe to that so yeah, it's just very perfumey, but honestly, it's really nice. Like, I am actually very much enjoying this. Okay, this is kind of a boring one, but I picked up another You're the One. This is not my third You're the One. And I know I've literally been a broken record on here saying that I'm not going to do doubles anymore. I'm trying to downsize my collection. I don't want to have a million of the same scents. But You're the One is an exception. This smells like a perfume. Straight up, it smells so much more expensive than it is it is one of my most complimented scents ever and it truly performs like an actual perfume it's one of the strongest mists that i have and now it's in this nice little faceted packaging i don't really care about that i just care about the scent and the fact that it was five bucks i was like i have to pick it up and this has velvet birch velvety rose and a drop of strawberry nectar this will have you smelling so rich so expensive very bougie but sexy at the same time and i picked up a pretty exciting one this is strawberry snowflakes and i know this scent came out for the first time last year and i actually didn't pick it up because i smelled it at the store and i was like this is literally a repackage of strawberry pound cake i found them way too similar but this time around i'm like it's five dollars and i hear people raving about this scent and how it is similar to strawberry pound cake but it's not totally the same. So I'm like, let me give it a shot. This has a juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot notes. What really got me, let me be honest, is the packaging this year. I love the packaging. I actually love the packaging of most of the scents this year. And this is giving me Barbie vibes. It's giving me Barbie and the Nutcracker vibes. I actually do smell the difference now. It's totally reminiscent of strawberry pound cake, but it's not as gourmand. It doesn't have that cakiness. And it honestly has this almost 
almost like the strawberry starburst sort of a scent in it it's more of like a juicy strawberry i would say that strawberry is a lot more prominent and like i said it just doesn't have that cakey gourmand feel like strawberry pound cake but i would say they're about like 60 percent similar but they do have differences so i take back what i said i don't think this is a complete repackage it's similar but it's different so i'm really excited to start using this pairing it with other scents other perfumes i will definitely be doing a layer video because i definitely have some inspiration i finally ended up picking up luminous in the full size if you watched my latest bath and body works haul that i did i had picked up the little mini version of this because when i had went to the store that was all they had they told me they would have the big size in a couple weeks I never ended up going after that and I saw it during the sale and I picked it up because I actually really really like this scent I know people say that this smells too mature and stuff like that like I know it's getting kind of mixed reviews but I love it. I think it smells really good. It's very similar to the scent of like La Via Belle. But for some reason this also gives me Forever Red vibes slightly. They're not dupes but it, it gives me the vibes of Forever Red. And Forever Red is in like my top 10 Bath & Body Works scents. This has notes of Ruby Current, Gilded Iris, and Praline Amber. I am starting to think that anything that has iris in it, I love. Iris gives perfumes this makeup-y, lipstick sort of feeling. And this totally has that. Love the Ruby Current. It has this very red sexy vibe that's why it's kind of reminiscent to me of forever red and then the praline amber just adds more sweetness this is definitely in the family of into the night forever red it's those kind of like date night sexy sort of dark and mysterious more perfumey type scents that bath and body works have and then speaking of luminous um wow like really wrapped up i saw this where the luminous um stand was this is a perfume rollerball and also a lip gloss you know i hate rollerballs i've always said that on my channel but something about this i thought it would be nice for just like a little purse you know product <laughs> those products that you just kind of use on the go maybe if i forgot to spray perfume that day or I want a little bit of lip gloss and a perfume at once. This is originally $18.95 and for this, it's not worth almost 20 bucks. That's crazy to me. Like that's actually crazy. $18.95 for this? Absolutely not. But $5 I can do. So here's the rollerball size. It's just a tiny little thing, but again, for on the go, it's nice. Oh, it smells so good. And then I actually haven't tried the lip gloss part, but I really like the color. It's like this holographic sp sparkly gloss. Let's put some on. Mmm, it smells really good. It doesn't smell like luminous. It just smells sweet. See, it kind of has like a blue iridescent tint to it. It feels really good, but you kind of have to build it up. It's not that like immediate glossy, glossy gloss but it's pretty adds a nice shine and for just like a little purse item i thought it would be a nice little addition who was gonna tell me that bath and body works has shampoos when i saw this i was actually shocked i never knew bath and body works had shampoos is this something new have they always had shampoos i know they haven't always had shampoos but have they come out like recently and nobody's told me why haven't you guys told me about this like Let's be real, the only reason why I got these is purely for the scents. I don't know how these are gonna be for my hair considering they are so fragrant, but I'll take it because sometimes I want my hair to smell amazing and the fact that these smell like some of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents, I was definitely sold. They had other scents. I think they had Japanese Cherry Blossom and a couple other ones. These were my favorites, so I picked up the shampoo for Into the Night. They also had conditioners. Personally, for me, I really just use masks in place of conditioner. Like, no conditioner really cuts it for me. I need something super, super rich, so I didn't go for the conditioners, but these smell amazing. Into the Night as a freaking shampoo? Where have I been? These are made with vitamin B5, aloe, and vitamin E. And they're vegan, they're not tested on animals, and they're made without sulfates, parabens, or artificial dyes, which is pretty good. Like, I'm sure they have other things that are not so good, but of course they have to state the good stuff. Again, I really only got it because I love these scents. Into the Night has Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. 
I can just imagine using this, the body wash, I even have a scrub of this scent, the body spray, and then topping it off with a perfume that's kind of similar to this scent. That would be amazing. Like you'll literally smell like this head to toe. And another classic Bath and Body Works love of mine is A Thousand Wishes. So I was so excited to see it again in a shampoo. Oh, this smells so good. This is Pink Prosecco, Sparkling Queens, Crystal Punies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. Oh, so good. I am so excited to start using these as shampoos. I actually really am curious to know how they're going to be as shampoos, like what the formula is going to be like. If you guys have used Bath & Body Works shampoos before, let me know what it does to your hair. Obviously, apart from the scents. I'm sure they smell amazing. That's why I got them. But I'm actually curious to know if they're not going to make my hair fall out. Two last products. I ended up picking up a couple things for my husband. My husband is not into these things. So if you're seeing these two and you're like, uh, that's all you got for him, he literally hates stuff like this. Like he has one perfume that he uses every single day and he'll only buy a new one after he's finished with the very last drop like he is the total opposite of me in that aspect but i got him this scent because i am in love with mahogany teakwood this is a classic from bath and body works and it smells so good i'm not gonna lie i told him i'm gonna steal this deodorant and use it for myself because this smells so good and i also didn't know that bath and body works had deodorant so this was a first for me as well. They don't have women's deodorants. They only have men's deodorants, but that's fine for me because honestly, men's deodorants will do the job so much better than women's deodorants. And then I also got the body spray for Mahogany Teakwood and he's actually been using this for the past few days. <sighs> smells so good. This is Mahogany Black Teakwood and Lavender. So it has those rich woody notes. And then that lavender, this literally smells like the inside of an Abercrombie store. Like that classic Abercrombie store scent. That is this in a bottle. I think that's everything. This was my biggest Bath & Body Works haul that I've done in a while, but I had to take advantage. And the fact that I had the coupons on top of the sale and then the free body care, I was like, Okay, I'm going a little bit ham on this one. I know I didn't go crazy. Again, I didn't get any of the body creams and those high ticket items, which if you do use those items, this would have been the perfect time to get those things because especially with those type of products, they're the products that never really go on sale. So if you actually use, use those products, this would have been the time to do so. But again, if you missed out, they will have another one of these body care sales sometime right before the holidays. And then of course we have the SIS coming up as well. So that is it for me today. Let me know of any goodies that you picked up during the sale. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.